I have a question though. Are you guys like tired of seeing me start like every video drinking coffee? Because I feel like that's exactly what I do. But it's how I start my day, so whatever. Man, but this week is a much needed active recovery week. It's currently 5.50 in the morning. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday I had an active recovery swim. It was about, it was under 2,000 yards. It wasn't anything crazy. So that actually felt nice and easy, which was good. And then today I have a bike ride. I think it's only like a 45 minute speed bike ride. Uh, so I actually put my bike back on the trainer last night. And that was the thing that I, I knew like I have to do it. Like in the nighttime, the last thing I wanted to do this early in the morning was wake up and try to figure out how to put my bike back on the trainer. So I went ahead and did that last night. But I'm actually excited for today's because it's only like 45 minutes or something like that. So it's pretty nice and short. But this will be my first time using my arrow bars on the trainer. So it'll be nice being obviously in a controlled environment and being able to really focus on using those. Before I get on that, I just need to wake up a little bit, um, drink some more coffee. We'll drink this coffee that I just made. And then I'm going to edit a video for my real estate channel, which if you guys don't know, I am a real estate agent here in New York City. I've mentioned it a few times in some of my past videos, but I have another channel for real estate specifically where I just talk about real estate and I do like real estate property tours and stuff like that. So if you're interested, go check it out. But yeah, so I'm going to just edit some of that video that I filmed yesterday and then I'll get on the bike once I finish my coffee. So that's the plan for this morning. I just finished editing for the morning, but I actually picked up, well, I didn't pick up, I ordered it online, the Element Salt Electrolyte Drink Mix stuff. Obviously, I've seen this stuff everywhere, and I've been wanting to try it for the longest time, I just never have. So I finally ordered some, and I will say, I took it Monday, I took it yesterday, and then today's my third day but I have really enjoyed it. The first day I did the watermelon salt, yesterday I did the orange salt mix. So today let's try the raspberry salt, which I'm sure a lot of you guys maybe have tried these already, but if not, it's actually pretty nice what they have in there. 1000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So what I am going to do is just for my ride, I'm gonna put the raspberry mix in this cup and just drink it throughout but it's actually been really refreshing and it's kind of nice to go from drinking my coffee to this just to switch it up first thing in the morning it's now 6 32 i need to put my socks and my shoes on and get on the bike I'm not that intimidated by the ride this morning since it's not as long and uh, like I said, I'm kind of looking forward to it just because I've never used aero bars inside. So this will be, it'll be interesting to see how this ride feels. I feel like I'm going to enjoy it much more. And I'm hoping that some of the watts that I have to push today, it's nothing crazy, I don't think. But I'm hoping that these aero bars make it a little bit more comfortable, but we'll find out. So yeah, just going to get my shoes on and then get on the bike and I'll tell you what the workout is. But first, let's, let's give the raspberry a taste. Oh yeah, this shit's good. I can't believe I just now tried this stuff. I highly recommend trying it if you haven't yet. So yeah, this workout is only 43 minutes. That is nice. I'm so used to them being long now, so to have a shorter ride is just glorious to see. I love active reco <laughs> recovery weeks now. <laughs> I feel like I haven't recorded my screen in a while and shared it, so let's let's do that. Okay, here we go. So yeah, as you can see over here on the top left-hand side, it's actually, it's a 43 minute workout. I have a 15 minute warm up at 135 watts. And then you can see kind of what the sets are right under it, so it's, nine minutes at 225 and then one minute at 120, seven minutes at 225, one minute at 120, and then five minutes at 225. So it looks like it kind of just tears down the whole time. But yeah, this is the first time 
getting to use these aero bars inside. This is nice. I feel like I can just relax early in the morning. I could probably just fall asleep like this. Just keep the legs pedaling and go right back to sleep. I just wanna say thank you first off to everyone that has ordered shirts so far. I'm actually really surprised with how many people have ordered them. A big majority of them were shipped out yesterday. So some of you that ordered them this past week, they will be arriving soon. So I'm excited for, for you to get them. Hopefully you like them. And once you get it, if you want, feel free to post it on Instagram, tag my, either my personal Instagram or my Ashton Tries Instagram. Would love to see you guys rocking the t-shirts. It's so cool. But yeah, thank you guys for your support. Again, all this money is going towards the Iron Man Foundation, so excited to see how much we can raise. If you guys saw my video from this past weekend, when I finally took my bike outside, you know that it didn't necessarily go to plan, mainly because of weather and everything else that was going on, but I was looking at the weather app, and not this weekend. This weekend I have a little bit of a shorter ride. It's only in an hour and a half, so I'll do that in Central Park. But the following weekend is when I'm back into my main block of training. <clears throat> and I think the ride is like four hours and 30 minutes. But I was looking and the weather is showing that it might be up in the 70s, which I am so excited about. But I feel like you can't really rely on the weather when it's that far out. I'm just hoping that it stays that way because this past weekend was miserable. I do not want to experience that again. That was not fun. I am excited for this weekend though. Barry is doing her half marathon. Her parents are in town. We'll have friends over afterwards. And again, thankfully this is a active recovery week. So I don't have crazy training this weekend, just some light stuff. So I'm very thankful for that. I feel like timing for all this worked out perfectly. I should um, probably turn on my fan. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you do that action, psycho? You know, riding inside and using and really focusing on using these aero bars is super important because it's gonna help my body adapt to being outside on them. I'm really interested to see how it affects my FTP though. Like is my FTP gonna be better next time? So I'm gonna be using these aero bars to do the test or will it be worse? I'm interested to see that. I don't know, I think I have like another four weeks or so until I retest. I'm pretty sure, I gotta look at it, let me see. Yeah, so my next fitness test will be the week of May 21st. So, what's today? Today's the 24th, so I have a month to really get used to these aero bars and learning how to push power and watts on them and get used to my body being in this position. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how my FTP hopefully improves using these. I feel like it will. Maybe. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. All right, gonna crank out the rest of this warm up and then I'll see you guys in the main sets. I just finished the first set, which was the nine minutes at 225. And it's definitely still just as hard to push watts. It's just a little bit more comfortable. <sighs> this is actually a challenging one. I'm thankful it's only 43 minutes long. But I'm wrapping up this one minutes at 120 watts and I'm about to go into the seven minutes at 225. <sighs> Let's go. Here we go. <sighs> 
<sighs> okay, I just finished all the main sets and now I'm in a five minute cool down. Thank God this workout isn't any longer. It's kicking my ass, I'll be honest. So much for, you know, these active recovery workouts being easy. They really sneak up on you, they're tough. And I don't have to run off the bike today, which is also nice. On these active recovery weeks, I really try to give my body some time to heal after the past three hard weeks, because after this active recovery week, the next three weeks are gonna be even harder than the last three. I really have to make sure my body is ready and well rested. Almost done, almost done. And that, my friends, is a wrap on the speed bike workout. It always feels so nice getting off the bike, doesn't it? Oh. Oh, let me just sit down on the ground for a minute. That was a good ride though. I was able to hold the watts most of the time. Definitely gonna have to get used to like pushing those hard watts and arrow. I could feel it in my hamstrings quite a bit. And I think it's just because of how you're like leaning over. So it stretches that hamstring muscle. Honestly, most of the time while you're in that position, I feel like, I guess that means I need to be doing some more hamstring curls at the gym, but not this week, not this week. Got these electrolytes and sodium taste so good when you're sweating a lot. <sighs> okay, I need to just relax for a minute. And then I'm feeling a Greek yogurt protein bowl this morning. That sounds pretty appetizing. I've made that before. I eat it quite often actually. I made it before. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. I made that before on one of my full day of eating videos I did like a few weeks ago. But I'll make it again, I'll show you kind of what I put in it. <sighs> but it's nice to switch up. Most mornings I'll eat eggs. But it's nice to switch it up now and then because sometimes I just get tired of eating the same thing every single day. So eating like one of these Greek yogurt bowls is like a nice little treat in the morning. Well, plus my Duncan, which I gotta go get that soon too. <sighs> good workout this morning, good workout. Say hello, say good morning, good morning. What's that? Oh, how was your breakfast? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> how was your breakfast, bud? Yeah? Well, now it's time for dad to eat breakfast. So for this Greek yogurt bowl, I am going to use, I have honey Greek yogurt, and then Barry told me I should use chia seeds. So I'm gonna throw those in there. I, oh shit. I have some cinnamon, the BPN's chocolate vegan protein, the peanut butter chocolate granola. I got this at Trader Joe's. Peanut butter, of course. This goes in just about everything. Some more honey and then a banana. So what I'm gonna do is I usually do about a cup of Greek yogurt and then mix it all together. This Greek yogurt looks a little thicker than normal. So I'm definitely gonna need to add some oat milk to this to make it not as thick of a consistency, but let me add protein first. I already know that's gonna be thick, like I said, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the oat milk. What's he making all that racket for? Don't mind our empty fridge right now. Shit. Lucky, what are you doing? Uh-oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. So I'll mix this up. Try to get all the clumps out of it first. Let's just give this a taste test before we add everything else. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna add banana. I'm not really cutting it up, I'm just kind of breaking it up. And then last but not least, a little cinnamon on top. You want a little treat? You want the end part of my banana? There you go. Mmm. That's our healthy boy. That's our healthy boy. We gotta train you next to become the next triathlete in the family. But voila, this is the finished product. Let's actually take the first bite. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. So, got some peanut butter, got a little bit of banana, granola. Oh, yeah. So, like a nice, healthy, sweet treat in the morning.
and this tastes so good after that bike ride. So you know, I just have work today. Gonna obviously eat this. Then tomorrow I have a speed run, but again, that's shorter as well since it is an active recovery week. So I'll do that at the gym, on the treadmill. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll do the speed run. I haven't filmed that one in like the past couple videos. So I figured I'd throw tomorrow in as well. Okay, good morning. I made it to the gym. It is currently, what time is it? 6.48. I got here a little bit early just because when I woke up, I was just like actually in the mood to just get here and get it over with. I'm just thankfully thankful that it's not too long of a workout today. Let's see. I'm gonna record my screen so you can see what I'm looking at. If I go here into training peaks, my speed workout run is 40 minutes. And it's just a bunch of short intervals, it looks like, with a 15 minute warm up. I'll go ahead and just hit start. But this is gonna be nice compared to what I am used to doing. Lately, like, these speed runs have been kicking my ass. And they're starting to get like pretty long. I was already looking at kind of like what my workouts were looking, are supposed to look like next week. And like these speed runs, the no let up ones, which if you've seen any of my past treadmill workouts, they've been pretty tough, but they're called no let up. And it's gonna start being over an hour. It's gonna be closer to like an hour and 10 minutes. This 40 minutes seems like it's not gonna be too bad. But yeah, so for the workout, I have the 15 minute warm up. And I'm at 6.6 .6 miles an hour now, but it'll slowly increase. And then I have 10 sets of one minute at 8.1, and then one minute at 7.3. I think that's what it says. It's kind of hard to read it on my iPad. So I just, do what it says when it's time. I try not to think about what I have coming up. So I just have this water bottle with me, but I filled it with another element packet. Today I chose the citrus flavor, which I haven't had this one yet, so let's try it. pretty good. It kind of has like a margarita flavor to it. Like a lime margarita, but obviously no alcohol. That'd be dangerous this early in the morning. I probably won't film a ton of this workout because honestly I just want to get it in. But maybe I'll check in at some point, maybe halfway through the big sets or the main sets, I guess you could say. So I'll see you in a few. Oh, okay, we're incomplete. That wasn't too hard. It was actually a pretty good speed run. The biggest thing is like, the warm up and the cool down to me was way harder than the main sets of that workout. Like, the fastest that I went in the main sets was 8.1 miles an hour, but when I was finishing the warm up, I was at 8.4 miles an hour. And then you go through all 10 sets, and then at the very end, when you finish that last set, you're thinking that, oh, I'm, it's gonna be a cool down so I can finally slow down a little bit. But then it jumps from 7.1 to start the cool down at 8.4 miles an hour. And then I didn't even hit the 7.1 again at the cool down until the last like 30 seconds of that cool down. So I don't know what that's about. It's always tricky. It's always such a tease when you know the cool down is coming. 
Anyways, at least the workout is done. On the bright side, I don't have a full body workout to do now. I don't do weight workouts on my active recovery week just because, like I said, I just want to get as much recovery as possible because these weeks, like the next three weeks, are going to be really tough. So let me just clean off this treadmill because I have sweat everywhere and whoever uses this next will not be happy. <sighs> then let's get out of here. Today I need to, I don't know, go find like a poster or something that I can make because since Barry's half marathon is on Sunday, I need to make some sort of sign. I don't know what it's going to say yet. Sometimes I have a hard time being creative when it comes to that stuff. But this is my first time actually being able to cheer her on because the first time she ran the half marathon, her and I did it together. So now I can actually make a sign for her. So I need to go find some supplies in a little bit to make that. And don't worry, she's not gonna, she probably won't watch this video anyway, so she won't know I'm doing it. I think I'm actually gonna run into her soon because she's headed to work. How are you doing? Good morning. Oh. Oh, it's early. Stop. <laughs> I was able to find some posters down at a Dwayne Reed. So I got two, just in case I mess up on one of them. But I actually also dropped off Lucky for his first day of like doggy daycare. We're doing like a free trial, so I'm excited to see how that goes. He'll be there till like 2 p.m., so I'll have to pick him up in a little bit. But now I actually have some peace and quiet in here. It's so weird being in this apartment without him running around. Yeah, so now let me try to figure out what kind of sign I wanna make for Barry for her half marathon. I think what I wanted to say is, because her name is, since her name is Barry, and it's spelled B-A-R-I, I think I'm gonna put, you are the Barry best runner, like very, but Barry, if that makes sense. But I need to, I have a pencil, I need to sketch it out first because you know, I will probably end up messing up a few times. I'm not the best at doing this. So I'm just gonna, I'll just show you the finished product. I don't want you to sit here and watch me make this because it might be a little embarrassing to be honest. So I'll, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. I just finished the signs and I'm actually pretty proud of them. I wish I knew how to draw a little bit better or like knew how to decorate these a little bit more, but the sayings I would say are pretty good. I ended up making two. So the first one is the one that I mentioned that would say you're the very best runner. So let me show you. So this is it. It's nothing fancy. I'm not, I'm, I don't really know what to put here or here. Or a part of me feels like maybe I should just leave it like this and not try to do anything crazy before I end up messing it up. But then the second one that I made, I'm proud of because it says Lucky, which is our dog. Lucky believes in your possum speed. Isn't that great? <laughs> that great? And then I actually, I drew this little guy. It took some time, but I did all this with pencil first, so I didn't mess up. So you can probably still see some of the pencil marks, but this one's my favorite, hands down. But anyway, so now at least I have those done. I'm excited to use those on Sunday, and then her parents can hold one too. I'm excited for this weekend, should be a good one. But thank you guys for watching this video. And again, thank you to everyone who has bought shirts so far. I'm gonna end the video here. And if you are watching these videos and you've watched a few of my videos, but you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps out my channel and it really also helps with like the algorithm and everything else with YouTube. So I really appreciate it. If you do hit that subscribe button, please give this video a thumbs up, obviously, if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. This weekend's video, I will have a long bike ride, which I'll do on Saturday. I'm supposed to have a run on Sunday, but we'll see how Sunday mor morning goes because that's also the morning of the half marathon for her. Whether or not I get that run in, I don't know yet. But I guess you guys will just have to wait and find out. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.